Now let's put this information to some practical use. We're going to create a very simple script that's just going to open a file handle and the file we're going to use is the actual script that we're using to run the entire operation. We're going to use a for each loop to loop over each of the lines in the file and then we're going to print a line number. So what we can do is we can set up a line number up here and then we can start looping through the line numbers. There we have the variable i which is simply an incremented variable. We can increment that within the block to make sure that that keeps adding up as we go through the different lines in the file. And then we've used the special default variable here to indicate that we're printing out the line that we're up to in the for each loop. You'll notice that I haven't included any new line characters and yet when we move over to our command prompt and run the file script it still is able to print out each line in the file and put them on separate lines. The reason for that is that included within each line as a separator is the new line character itself. When we run the for each loop it doesn't take off that line. If we wanted our for each loop to take off the line we'd have to do something to strip it out. We could either use a regular expression to do a replace for instance on the new line character at the end of the line and replace it with nothing and that would work just fine. Let's go over to our command prompt and it's taken out each of the new line characters there and so run it all together. Not terribly useful in this instance but it can be very useful when we're pulling in information from a text file and we want to remove those new line characters. There is a quicker way to take off the new lines however when we're reading in line by line from the file in this manner. We can simply use the function chomp which is expressly designed for just this purpose. All it does is it takes the new line character off the end of the line. If we are using any variable other than the special default variable we'd have to specify it after the chomp function. Since we're using the default variable however we can just use the chomp function on its own and it'll automatically act on the dollar underscore special variable. At the end of our script we could also close the file handle to free up that system resource.